Hello guys, in this video we will see how to use the y plus value in your simulation. First let us see what is y plus value and what is the importance of that. y plus value tells how your mesh is good enough to work near the wall region. So if your mesh is very fine near the wall region, the y plus value will be very low. And if your mesh is very poor, the y plus value will be very high. So our objective is to keep the y plus value very minimum. A very good mesh will have a y plus value of 5 or less. It means it can capture the effects of the differences or the gradients in the boundary layer. Here you can see a mesh and let me zoom that mesh to see the finest part of that. So here you can observe the fine mesh that is near the wall region. So that is set as 0.02 millimeters. So I have set this dimension 0.02 millimeters based on the y plus value calculation. So I have considered a y plus value of 1. So y plus is actually a dimensionless value. Let me show you how it works and how we can calculate that. So let us consider a y plus value of 1. So this is a formula of y plus value. So y plus is equal to u tau y divided by nu that is kinematic viscosity. Here we will not use this formula as it is. We will use in a different way because we have to choose a y plus value that is 1 to 5 or 5 to 30 that depends on our simulations need and we will calculate the y value that is the first cell's distance from the wall. That is the thing we need to calculate and uh, uh, these are the parameters. Here u tau is the frictional velocity, y is the distance from the wall to the center of your first cell and uh, nu is the kinematic viscosity. And here the y is the distance that we have to calculate. The frictional velocity has to be calculated using the formula square root of wall shear stress divided by density. If your working fluid is water, we can plug a value of 1000 kg per meter cube and the wall shear stress has to be calculated. So here is a formula for wall shear stress. So wall shear stress can be calculated by the formula of rho u square into coefficient of friction. So where u is the mean velocity of fluid flow and fc is the coefficient of friction. Here we have one unknown that is coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction for a turbulent flow can be calculated by using the formula 0.0791 into Reynolds number to the power of minus 0.25 and Reynolds number as we know it can be calculated by ud by v. u is the average velocity or mean velocity, d is the diameter of the pipe and nu is the kinematic viscosity. So these are the values that are in our case. So the average velocity is 1 meter per second. Density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and the diameter of pipe is taken as 100 millimeter that is 0.1 meter. So if you plug all these values in our Reynolds number formula, you will get a value of 1 lakh as Reynolds number. So that is purely turbulent. So this formula is applicable. So if you plug into this Reynolds number value, we can find the coefficient of friction that is 0.0045. If you plug the coefficient of friction value and the average velocity here, you can get the value of wall shear stress. So that will be around 2.25 pascals or Newton per meter squared. And if you plug these values here, you will get the value of frictional velocity that is 0.0475 meter per second. If you plug the value of frictional velocity, and kinematic viscosity as we know that is the property of fluid that is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 for water. So if you plug that value we get a value of 2.1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 meter that is 0.021 millimeter. So that's why we have rounded up the value to 0.02 millimeters and that's why I have used the value of 0.02 2 millimeter here. So this is the distance of the first cells from the wall. So let us see how we can use this in our mesh. Let me open ANSYS workbench. Drag and drop the fluid to fluent system. Right click the geometry and create new design modeler geometry. Click the XY plane. 
create sketching change the units to millimeters click circle click here go to dimensions then give a dimension of 100 millimeters go to extrude select the geometry click apply and give a dimension of 1000 millimeters that is 1 meters and click generate so now we have generated a geometry close this design modeler double click the mesh once the geometry is loaded click the mesh and give a default element size as 5 millimeters so this size will be applied for all the elements and only at the outer side we need to have a fine mesh so for that right click click inset and go to inflation and select the whole geometry for geometry selection and for the boundary select the outer surface only and click apply and in the inflation option go to first layer thickness so we know the first layer thickness that is 0.02 millimeters so just mention that 0.02 millimeters give this dimensions and click generate okay now you can now if you go to the mesh and closely observe that you can observe a fine mesh near the boundary layer so this will capture the very fine changes in the velocity or shear stress near the wall so this will be useful to calculate the shear stress on the wall or the velocity boundary layer or the gradients which are related to the wall stress thank you hope this video helped you if you have any doubts feel free to comment thank you don't forget to subscribe